have originally recorded this video without as many details and I ended up deciding I am going to just be open. I'm not going to re reveal all the names, usernames, servers, blah, yada yada, not all the information, but if you know any of the information that I am talking about, please do not reveal it. Please do not mention any of it. It's in the past. It doesn't need to be brought up. I'm only bringing this up because I want to be open and honest with all my viewers. So if you can't tell, I have no wig on. I don't have makeup on. I don't have my contacts on. Um, I'm in my rawest form. I'm natural mode. But that's because I wanted to come out and saying that I am Angela. That's my actual name. You can call me Ange, Angie, Angela, whatever you want. You can still call me Evelyn, Eve, Little Evelyn, whatever you want to call me. That's fine. Um, but I wanted to tell you the story of why I ended up having to go by little Evelyn for the past year and just Evelyn in general and try to look different. So it all started out back when I was younger and I moved out of California with my family and I was upset about it. And so I went to Xbox as my little outlet. I made a lot of friends and... Some of these friends are pertinent to the story. So I ended up, years on later, about seven and nine years later, finally meeting with this group of friends, and it was amazing. Best friends, finally meeting in person, it was wonderful. I have so many photos and videos on my phone from every time I got to hang out with them. I've hung out with them multiple times. It was wonderful. I was so excited. Um, I've had I had a few bad and weird experiences hanging out with them, but I think we all have those experiences with all of our friends. So it's not really pertinent to the story. Not needed. <laughs> but the main thing I want to come across as is that before everything built up to the final straw. Um, there was issues where one of my friends, an owner of a server, became enthralled with a new friend group. This friend group glorified the dark side of leadership in toxicity, um, powerful influence with having a larger server, and lots of friends that you could really do anything with. This led to my friend changing a lot about themselves. It was really sad to see. I was upset about it. I had mentioned it to the person multiple times and I said, hey, I just wanted to let you know like you're not being yourself anymore. And it, it was hard. They didn't really believe me. At times they started working on it and they were way better. But this only, this ultimately led to a lot of issues. It led to a lot of friend groups being broken off as well as my friendship with this person because it started to just tear down, just get destroyed because I was being destroyed by this person and their friend group and they were constantly harassing me. I kind of just went with it because I do have a few friends where we do have some toxic friendships where we joke with each other and it's it's on purpose. It's funny. We know when we're doing it. But the way that this was all coming off was on purpose in a different way. It wasn't a friendly gesture to each other's friendly love to one another. <laughs> it was not that. I can tell you that much. And this slowly led to a distrust between us. And there was a few other issues that happened in the server unnecessary to talk about but it ultimately le led to a distrust between the two of us this is important later <laughs> so this person was living with some of my other friends who i had ended up meeting in person it was wonderful it was great as i said but as this person began to change there became lies and hatred between half of this household so, I'm not exactly sure what everyone's motives were in this situation, which is why I will not speak on their 
their motives, their actions necessarily, but I can speak on a general vague idea of what happened because the only time I will ever speak about what truly happened in all details is if it ever became a court issue, which it illegally could become a court issue, which is why I keep evidence on my phone and my laptop and my computer. Um, I keep it everywhere uh, in case I ever need to use it because that is a worry of mine. Not that I would be in trouble for something perhaps, but more so I feel like it's my right being stuck in the middle of this entire situation to bring forward the truth of what happened. I don't know all the truths. <laughs> no one ever does in a situation. There's one person's truth, another person's truth, and the actual truth. So, I can only bring what I have. But, this these lies um, were fed to me on either side of the situation. It was disgusting, honestly. Now that I look back on it. <laughs> But this led to them having an issue with, between their household and a possible ev and an eviction notice. On hearing this, I had a group of my friends and I talked to them and I said, Hey, you know, I was already fed these lies, so this is why I went with this. As I said, well, this isn't working out and you have a huge event you need to get to soon. Do I, could I do something for you? And I offered the idea that perhaps, maybe, my family would let them come live with us for a while, um, and then we would help them get to where they needed to go. Just so that they had a temporary living situation since they were supposed to be evicted right away. Um, and I was already supposed to be heading back home. So I decided that so I ended up calling up my family, we talked about it, we said it was a great, it was fine, it was perfectly fine, because once again, we were all fed lies, and I deeply cared for my friends, and my parents knew that. Um, and they had only seen the greatness of what's happened, they didn't know what was happening behind the scenes, as well as I. And so, with this, they came back with me, they did not tell the other person like I told them to I said you need to tell them you are leaving with me I'm going to say goodbye to them but you have to be the ones to tell them that you were leaving they did not so the other half of the household that was left alone in the house did not know that they were leaving or where they were going so this led to a huge issue now on our way out of course, I helped them bring their items into my car. Um, they didn't have too much stuff to bring and everything. And this included one particular item, which would be the entirety of why and we are not close of friends anymore. This entire group is just completely broken and tattered because of this. They lied to me. And some other people about whose item this particular thing was and it went with me in my car I unknowingly helped them practically take someone else's item that was in the household and so the half the household was missing and along with it was one item that was actually theirs but I did not know that um, and lo and behold, we went all the way to my place, and we drove all the way back to my house, they stayed with me, and throughout this entire week there was just a multitude of issues of harassment on both ends, um, some illegal things that happened to me, which is why I have evidence on my phone, because I worry that they don't understand what happened. Um, I was worried for my family's safety. <laughs> There's a lot of issues. And overall, it was a just disgusting situation. It wasn't until later on, about a month, month later, that I finally got some answers and received a phone call from one of the household members that I had taken. 
in with me and they told me what supposedly happened which I believed because it did make sense and so I had I ended up returning having my family help drive and return this item to the rest of the household members um, and that was pretty much it but throughout this entire situation my entire reputation was completely destroyed because this owner of a server like I said was one of those household members and so they used their leadership and influence to convince all of their followers of the idea that I was part of this elaborate plot to take their items and run away and all this other stuff when I was simply coerced um, and they had manipulated them partially on their part because they didn't know what was truly happening and I didn't know what was happening but it was really emotionally brought on and so through that I was thoroughly attacked I had to private pretty much all of my social media pages I had to just get off the internet because I was being harassed so much. And I was threatened with things like, oh, you're gonna go to jail and I hope you get raped in jail. You're gonna die. You're gonna get kicked out of college. All this other stuff that was said to me and I have all the screenshots of those. Um, and it was just, it was terrible. And I decided later that when I wanted to eventually come back to the internet that I wanted to just get away from that name because it's still kind of a hot subject because no one really knew what happened because whenever we brought the items back to those household members and we had a private forgiveness and apology to one another for all parts on every end of the spectrum we didn't make it public because it didn't need to be and so People were still questionable. They still thought I had ill intent. They thought we all hated each other, etc. And so I just went with a new name. And my friend wanted to get back. And I was like, you know what? Seems like the right time. I'll do it. And so little Evelyn was created. Now, of course, some of these people still harass or are obsessed with me. Or sometimes talk to me. Or we just don't talk to each other. But... It's in the past. I don't care. The only time I'll care is if it ever becomes a huge issue again. Which I don't think it will be because I don't want to necessarily be the closest of friends with these people. Um, because I was betrayed very, very deeply. And I was broken. I fell into a depression. Because um, I never truly processed... Everything that happened, because like I said, there were some server issues and friendship issues that happened before this entire thing happened. The final straw, as I'll title it. Um, and so, I never fully processed everything because it happened so quickly. It was over a few months of different things happening, like almost every single month. And then finally the last thing that happened, which was in the summer of 2018. And then once it became the fall of 2018, I crashed and burned because I finally processed everything. It was pretty sad. <laughs> um, I've since discussed and told a few people what really happened, um, if they really wanted to know, and they were good friends and they were part of everything that happened, I've told them they know what happened. They know my innocence and also how deeply I feel for both sides because they're both fed lies. They both told each other lies. So they built a hatred towards each other and I was just a middleman that was put in the middle because I'm always a middleman, of course. Can't open this.
they did threaten that they would be suing um, one of the household members and which is why I kept my evidence pretty tightly just in case because I could defend either side in all honesty because um, I really was the middle man I still keep it because I wonder if it'll ever become a thing and also just because they're memories of what happened and I don't really get rid of stuff I usually keep it just in case because you never know but I do want to mention once again thank you to all of you who supported me through this entire situation um because I know a few of you watching were there during this entire disgusting toxic situation um and I wish to never experience it ever again and I'm glad I own my own discord server now by the way we do have a new discord server if you did not know please go to the link in the description and follow the new discord server and join it's a lot better than the old one um but do not hate if you know any of the people that were part of this conversation part of this story do not send them hate do not bring up anything I beg of you because if you do I will have a, a talk with you because I'll find out <laughs> and um, it, it's not necessary the only reason I'm talking about this story is so that people understand the reason why I have n been Evelyn for the past year and I didn't come out as Angela this entire time I'm still me still all the same information just I'm not gonna be really wearing the wig I might wear a wig every now and then because it's fun <laughs> but um yeah so I want to bring content to you and I am gonna feel a lot better knowing that I can just be me with all of you in my hands but um yeah thank you for watching and thank you to anyone who's excited for my return <laughs> i know i was a afk from the internet for like four months but i was going back and forth on debating on if i should come back um if not i was super busy and then i was like if i want to come back i want to come back as me and so here i am i'm here i'm gonna go record some other videos for you guys for youtube but I figured this was the first video that needed to be posted, so I'm going to edit this first before I record anything, but I'm going to try to get this out right away tonight, maybe, might be early morning next day, but yeah, so um, I feel a lot better now that I can, you guys feel more connected to me and you understand some of my story. Once again, I left out a lot of details, I left out names because not necessary. It's in the past um, and this is why I want a no drama server in my discord because drama is not fun I can assure you so thank you and I hope you enjoyed listening to this video I have a lot of crazy stories from the internet that I could go into actual detail about unlike this one um, and so if you ever want to hear more like tea time story videos, I guess, kind of like this, except I can actually be open about everything, um, let me know and I can do those for you. I got a few wild stories of my own, um, some crazy stuff I've done to help friends out because I'm a super protective friend. So, yeah, thank you. Bye! <laughs>